So hello guys and in this part, uh, in this video, I just want to show you the thing that I discovered recently because I watch few tutorials, few time lapses, and I wanted to know how to uh, improve my sculpting. And I watch a lot of Jan sculpts and other YouTubers, and I just watched how how they made the base base mesh very quickly and it was the thing that i i can't i didn't know how to do it and i think that now i know how to do it so basically the approach that i was doing before is that i had a sphere and i went to sculpting mode but first let's apply the modifier uh, i went to sculpting mode and then i just use the grab brush to uh, shape the kind of head that I wanted to have and this is still uh, a good way uh, it's still valid it's still uh, for me at least a good approach to make this let uh, to start with this way but after I finish uh, the rough shape I immediately went to dine topo so I enable it and I changed to constant detail I chose the resolution which was somewhere around 10 and I used the sculpt draw brush to make the eyes for example and also the nose and you have the basic <clears throat> basic Face. but uh, recently <clears throat> I watched the a tutorial and I noticed that a lot of artists they don't do it that way and uh, they usually don't go to dine topo uh, from the start and they just use they just sculpt without dine topo so now I will show you the second approach and then I will uh, tell the difference between them so uh, let's go out from the top mode and ha I have some lag I don't know why give me guys a second okay I think now it should work so let's see if it works okay I think it's working better and now let's add a new cube and this time I'll subdivide it three times not two times and we can change it later so let's subdivide it three times let's apply it I will hide this one or move it to the right at least so we can see both and now we have the same process we go to the sculpt mode and we just use the grab brush to okay I will move it down because I can see inside you and we just do the typical stuff so we just shape our head to match better with our character I don't know what I'm going for but it's pretty generic stuff so you have uh, some kind of add like this okay and this is okay so the approach that I'm going to do now is I will go to I will add again a subdivision modifier because I want to subdivide this mesh. I, I don't want to go to line topo to split the vertices. I just want to use the subdivision surface and I will give it, uh, I think one subdivision. So you can have this somewhere around this amount of faces and I will apply it. And now if I go to the sculpt mode, I can use the uh, sculpt draw to make the eye. So I'll use the control and I will just mark the where the eyes should be so something like this and I will also draw the nose so they will go out like this and you can see that we uh, okay <laughs> this is not good let's move it out and let's maybe let's move it out with the grab brush and let's move it uh, this more inside the eyes and I will change the forehead to be more uh, to the front and as you can see the difference uh, between this one and this one is that 
Here we don't use line topo and you can see that the, the mesh is going inwards the eye and in the second one where we have dine topo we are actually creating those vertices and uh, I think this one is the better approach you can see that now we we have a lack of uh, detail because we need more faces but we can always add more with subdivision surface so for example now if I want to add a mouth I will add a just a muscle for the, the mouth part and I can manipulate it uh, for example like this I can uh, make a chin and I can just use the crease to check, mark where the the mouth should be and you can clearly see that and the uh, the thing I want to say let's also make this hole in the skull that you have this indent so I will use the reverse play strip so you have this hole it's typically not that big but I will make it a bit bigger like some something like this so I will move this up and let's talk about them so uh, maybe the left one looks uh, worse but you can clearly see where where the nose are and where the eyes are and the eyes are actually better uh, than this one because in this one we use the dine topo and when we use the, the sculpture brush we actually make a hole inside uh, our character so if i use the inverse you can see that the the fall off between the hole and the flat part is very uh, sharp so you can see that it goes something like this and then it suddenly drops down and this is the problem because with the eyes we have the same the same thing because uh, you have this you basically have a hole in here and the typical human being they don't have a hole they have the small uh, sm smoother uh, transition between the eye and you can of course achieve it with the smoothing but you have to first make the hole for example here you can you have this indent under the eye like this and if you use the control you can see that uh, this is not very smooth and then you can you have to smooth it out and you have to play around to get it right so here i add the cheekbone for example very simple cheekbone uh, and then you have to play to have this very nice transition and you have to do it anywhere like everywhere you you are sculpting you have to make this nice transition to not make it too uh, sharp like here you can see that it's this part is very sharp you go down and then you immediately go inwards and with the second approach you don't have that problem because you basically don't generate any new vertices and you just uh, move the existence one so as you can see here i use the inverse uh, sculpture brush but i don't generate any new vertices that's why uh, it will make this more smooth because you don't generate any vertices and this is not a hole this has a very smooth transition between things as you can see and now if i want to add uh, a hole uh, under the eye like here i can just use the inverse sculpt draw brush and you can see that this transition is a lot better and we can add a subdivision surface modifier to make it even more smooth for example i will increase it to two and i will apply it and now you can play it with play with it more further so you can uh, even more make a hole bigger but you can see that the transition is still better than this one and here you can also make this hole and let's add the cheekbone for example let's move it out a bit you can see that this one is a lot better here you can also add a small hole between the eyebrows and let's move it and yeah it's i think it's a lot better you can see that this part is uh, a lot smoother and you don't have to change it that much and i think this is a lot better when you are doing the base shape so for example here the nose i can separate it with the crease brush like this 
So you have a nose and you can still manipulate it with the scrub brush. So you can change it and make it till you like it. And you can play with it till, till you are satisfied until you have the, the base mesh shapes done. So for example, let's add the mouth that I was talking about. So let's add the, let's draw a muscle here so it will go out a bit. So we'll have the space to add the mouth. Mouth. And now let's use the crease brush to mark the, the line of the mouth. So it should be something like this. Let's see, something like this. And you can clearly see that we have a mouth. We can pull out this a bit. And we can also uh, inverse crease it to, to shape the upper lip. And also the bottom lip, we can inverse crease it. So you can see the bar, bar bottom lip. And this is not beautiful, but you get the idea. It's, it's a lot better to start with this shape than with this because uh, yeah you have to fix a lot of stuff to to make it right to make it look correct and smooth and with this approach I think it's a lot faster to make a base shape at least and then you can start uh, making the dine topo and if you uh, are lacking a detail you can add more even more subdivision surface and sculpt it even more if you want but I, I usually just uh, stop where I see that it's a good point to start adding detail with Dynetopo. Then I enable Dynetopo and start start uh, just sculpting the other things. So as you can see, this one is better, at least for me. And I think you should start doing this uh, approach. Uh, but it really depends on the person. I will add a simple eye. Make him look a, at least a little bit better. Okay. Eh. Okay, it's not bad. Let's add the mirror. Okay, and... Yeah, he looks awful, but with this approach, you, you will be faster. You, you, just, just trust me. You will be faster. You can change the shapes more easily, easier, I think. And you can just play with it. And when you are ready, you can start enabling the dime topo. Like you can see, even the the nose has a nice smooth transition because you don't add the the mesh. Here you have a very nice transition, and it's a lot. Uh, realistic oh uh, I think that will be it guys for the video because uh, okay let's enable dine topo if I enable dine topo let's go to the wireframe you can see now that we have uh, everywhere we have uh, a quote uh, the blender is dividing it to the into the triangles but trust me it, it's a quote because if you go to the edit mode uh, you have quotes every, everywhere and once you enable line topo on this one uh, we have to wait it will change everything to the triangles and if you go to edit mode now you can see that everything everything is a triangle and it's always better to sculpt on even quotes and I think that in ZBrush you have this approach that uh, they somehow optimize it and they change everything to quotes, but I'm not sure. But I see that uh, in ZBrush they have a lot of quotes and they just uh, do the same thing. So yeah guys, I, I think this will be it. You can see that here we can add the eyelashes. He looks very sad. but. Uh, this is generally a better approach, at least for me. And I don't know, guys. Just let me know in the comments what you think. Maybe you have the different opinion. 
but I think you should give it a try and see what fits fits better so that will be it guys I don't know what thumbnail to <laughs> to to do because both of these scopes look awful but we will see so thank you guys and see you goodbye have a nice day and uh, see you in the next tutorial so goodbye